Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Welcome back into the WHKY News, where it's time now for today's crime report. I'm Ralph Mangum, and I'll get us started this time. 34-year-old Gregory Clifford Hauser of Bessemer City was arrested November 16th by Lincoln County Sheriff's officers for felony concealing and failing to report a death. Hauser was wanted for questioning in connection with the death of a teenager whose body was found in Lincoln County on November 10th. The woman, 18-year-old Sydney Bisson of Charlotte, was found near NC Highway 150 in Boger City. Detectives made contact with Hauser by phone, and he agreed to turn himself in. Hauser was taken into custody at a relative's home on Clemson Lane in Lincoln County at approximately 3 p.m. Saturday, where he surrendered without incident. Hauser also has current pending charges in Catawba, Mecklenburg, Lincoln, and Gaston counties. He's being held in the Harbin A. Kraus Detention Center without bond. He was scheduled to appear in district court Monday. The investigation is ongoing. Anyone with information should call the Sheriff's Office, 704-732-9050, Lincoln County Communications, 704-735-8202, or Lincolnton Lincoln County Crime Stoppers, 704-736-8909. With three Caldwell County arrests, here now is WHKY's Ariana Mack. A Taylorsville resident was charged with possession of methamphetamine. 34-year-old Matthew Stephen Reed of Taylorsville was arrested Friday by State Highway Patrol officers. He was charged with felony possession of methamphetamine and misdemeanor counts of possession of Schedule 3 controlled substance and driving while subject to impairing substance. Reed was jailed under $420,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court date was scheduled for November 18th. And a man arrested for maintaining a place for controlled substance. 44-year-old Adonis Leander Patterson of Lenore was arrested Saturday by Lenore police officers. Patterson was charged with felony counts of failure to appear in court, possession of methamphetamine, possession with intent to manufacture, sell or deliver methamphetamine and maintaining a vehicle or dwelling for controlled substance. Patterson was jailed under $43,500 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. A district court date was scheduled for November 18th and a Lenore man charged with possession of methamphetamine. 53-year-old William Richard Tester of Lenore was arrested Saturday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with one felony count, possession of methamphetamine. Tester was jailed under $10,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. Tester is scheduled to appear in district court on Monday. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. One more before we go. 31-year-old Brandon Michael Casselow of Chesterfield, Virginia, was arrested November 16th by Morganton Public Safety officers. He's charged with discharging a firearm in the city limits, carrying a concealed weapon, and resisting a public officer. At about 10.30 Saturday night, officers responded to a report of gunfire on the 100 block of South Sterling Street. When officers arrived, they saw three individuals leaving the scene. Officers attempted to stop the individuals, but they failed to comply. Additional officers arrived and detained one individual who was found to be in possession of a concealed pistol. Witnesses told police that two men were engaged in a dispute with a woman on South Sterling Street when a bystander attempted to intervene. During the confrontation, one of the men reportedly brandished a 44 caliber revolver and fired a shot into the air. Brandon Michael Casselow was taken into custody and jailed under a $5,000 secured bond. A district court date was set for January 6th. That'll do it for today's crime report. For WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and to keep it legal.